glorious morning, lads. Conor McGregor comes back. A 40-second knockout. My boy Lonzo Ball posted a triple-double last night against the Clippers, despite the loss, only by three points. And the Lakers beat the shit out of the fucking Houston Rockets, 124-115. to 115. Why all the cockiness? Why all the animosity? All fucking week before this game, all I was hearing was, Oh, Houston Rockets, greatest dynamic duo. Oh, look at James Harden. Almost 38 points a game. Oh my God, it's the greatest thing that we've ever seen. Oh, not since Wilt Chamberlain. You know the difference between Harden and Wilt is? Wilt played in a time, relatively speaking, when the playoffs were a fucking joke. And the only real obstacle that you had to face was Bill Russell's, who was arguably one of the greatest fucking players of all time. Kids, we're not going to get into this argument today, but here's the thing. I don't really give a fuck what the goddamn uh, Rockets do in the regular season. They always do this shit. Haven't we seen this for like the last four or five years since Harden's arrived? Oh, my God. Swish, swish, swish. Wow. Oh, my God, dude. All these points. All these assists. All these rebounds. All these crazy statistical categories. And then just peter yourself out of the finals, right? Or any, any kind of playoff mode. You just <clears throat> fart out. But the hype was real. The hype for this game was real. The Houston Rockets were going to get at the Lakers, a number one overall seed in the Western Conference. And yeah, the Lakers aren't good enough. Oh, the Lakers are the most overrated fucking team. Oh, the Lakers are without Anthony Davis. They're not going to do shit. Yeah, you know what the Lakers did without Anthony Davis? Maybe got down by double digits, uh, near double digit deficits in halftime, but somehow, some way keeping it to single levels. I believe the Lakers are only down by 59 to 65 in halftime. But yeah, that's without Anthony Davis. And guess what? By that third period, by that third quarter, Houston looked pathetic. They went on a scoreless drought for about five, six good minutes. And you you began to wonder, like, really? This is a team that everybody hyped up for to, to get to the NBA Finals for like the last five consecutive years where we've seen the pattern repeatedly over and over again Houston will do all this shit but fundamentally because of Mike D'Antoni's system within a mentality where you're, you're not going to fucking play any semblance of r- real fucking defense yeah shit's not going to work it's just not whereas the Lakers I mean good good god good, good god the way you're spacing out the floor the way you're fucking pressing inside the box it is sublime to watch as a Lakers fan you are watching actual defense happen in critical moments and yes boys and girls we also have to talk about the Kyle Kuzma conundrum because all you dumb motherfuckers right now all you stupid motherfuckers that have been saying oh we gotta trade Kyle Kuzma oh we gotta trade Kyle Kuzma guess what this man Kyle Kuzma 23 points 8 rebounds 1 assist and within a 50% 50% field goal percentage? I, I, what what more do you want? Within 37 minutes, he's also giving you a great defensive place. Jesus fucking Christ, people. What more do you fucking want, man? Oh, we want someone like Lou Williams giving us 31 points and a fucking clutch shot. Well, listen here, motherfucker. Against one of the fucking top, you know, quote-unquote top teams in the Western Conference in the Houston Rockets, without Anthony Davis, this team was able to beat them at their fucking home by nine points. Why? Because defense, not stupid-ass offense, right? Yeah, the offense was stifled for the Lakers for, for, for a good long time in that first half. But they got their rhythm going on defense. This is where they found their footing. This is where they found ground to fucking start sprinting. And man, oh man, is it just refreshing to watch shit like this. And listen, I give kudos to Houston, man. I mean, the points are fantastic. Yeah, I, Harden giving you 34 points, 6 rebounds, 7 assists, 1 block. fan freaking tastic Russell Westbrook, relatively efficient night, 35 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists, 3 steals, 65.2% in shooting. But what does any of that equate to? In, in this case, a loss. Because, yeah, you'll, you'll have your Brodies going for 30 fucking points. But guys like Eric Gordon, not doing well. Guys like Clint Capello, who are a damn non-factor at this point. I mean, you got triple-double, man, 
and Mr. Will Chamberlain 2.0 doing all this shit, but amounting to nothing. Whereas the Lakers was it was a total collective team effort. You had Kyle Kuzma, 23 points. Danny Green, 20 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist, 4 steals, 1 block. I mean, everybody stepping up. Caldwell Pope, 20 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, 1 block. And LeBron James. Cherry on top, LeBron James, 31 points, 5 rebounds, 12 assists, 2 steals, and just an overall fantastic night from the Lakers. Um, where even guys on the side like Dwight Howard, 6 points, 10 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals, and 3 blocks. Just... Adding adding huge momentum into the Lakers game with their defense. And listen, guys, it's a tired old saying. It, it's, it's a cliche saying, but it, it's a saying because it's it's tried and true. Defense wins championships, right? And Mike D'Antoni with the Houston Rockets will never win a championship. I am saying that right here, right now. I don't give a fuck if the Houston Rockets fans are listening. Let me repeat it one more goddamn time. The Houston Rockets under Mike D'Antoni and James Harden will never win an NBA championship. That squad is all offense. There is zero semblance of defense. That defensive outlook by the fucking Rockets is a joke. You basically let in a wide open gap to let points go through. Oh, we're not going to let in threes. Okay, that's adorable. But inside the paint, it's, it's a fucking joke. You're trying to crowd a couple of guys like Kuz and LeBron, yet it's still a fucking mess. Congratulations, Rockets. You're going to break all sorts of records, but amount to nothing in the playoffs. And as for the Lakers, listen. We truly don't know what this team is actually like in the playoffs. Despite me shitting on the fucking Rockets right now, let's be real about this shit. AD, LeBron, Kuz, we have never seen those three in the playoffs together. We just haven't. I mean, of course, separately, we've seen some of, these, some of these cats. You know, obviously, LeBron James with his historic numbers in the playoffs. AD, we've seen a couple of times with the Pelicans, only to be a fruitless effort. Obviously, Rajon Rondo. Kuz, we've never seen in playoff form. JaVale McGee, NBA champion, a couple of times with the Golden State Warriors. So you're thinking to yourself, hmm. You know? As of right now, the way the Lakers are playing, they're playing better than the sum of their collective parts. If they can just kind of get that shit rolling and keep it going, ugh, man, playoff time. I don't know what fucking monsters we're going to get in the playoffs, but your Lakers win. Your LA Lakers win. Go up 34 to 8, first in the Western Conference. And yeah, we beat a team over 500, one of the elite teams. We beat the shit out of them at their own home. But, of course, the people are going to discount this goddamn game. Everyone's going to say, oh, that doesn't count. It's your Houston Rockets. All right, dude. You tell that to the fucking crybaby bitches in Houston today and Mike D'Antoni and James Harden and Russell Westbrook. So, yeah. Lakers take the win. Everyone's salty as fuck because no one likes the Lakers, and that's how I like it. Let's go Lakers. So, boys and girls, follow me at the Sky Lounge on all the links in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe for more daily contents. Fuck off.